Meet Ellen G. White, a key figure in the establishment of the Seventh-day Adventist Church over 160 years ago. Ellen experienced a head injury that later led to seizures, or what she called spiritual visions, that basically told her that meat was evil and that a plant-based diet was the pinnacle of health. But what's this got to do with anything, you might ask? Well, it turns out that the Seventh-day Adventists have a greater influence on public health to this very day than we can even imagine. They have many fingers in many pies with countless hospitals and medical centers, health organizations and food companies, colleges and universities all around the world pushing a plant-based diet and demonizing meat, all originating from a woman who had a bump to the head. This is where our dietary guidelines come from, this is where ideas like the food pyramid come from, and this is where the origin of processed foods come from. The widespread influence is mind-boggling. The world's largest organization of food and nutrition professionals, the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, was created by the Seventh-day Adventists. The Dietitians Association of Australia is funded by food giants sanitarium, who was also owned and operated by the Seventh-day Adventists. They have influence over the Australian Health Practitioner Regulation Agency, who have targeted doctors that are healing their patients of disease with a low-carb or carnivore diet because it disrupts the system they have in place. So basically, their religious ideas that come from a woman's visions 160 years ago is pushed at every rung of the ladder, starting with the building of the institutions themselves, writing the textbook, Books, making the curriculum, teaching the doctors, building the hospitals, and establishing the food companies. It's almost just like a game of Monopoly.